Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm proud to present an exclusive up close and personal in-depth look at the 2015 Mercedes-Benz S65 AMG. So this is going to be a detailed in-depth review of the S65. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clipping over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the unique aspects of both the interior as well as exterior. As a courtesy before we begin, I'd like to extend a special thanks and shout out to Auto Nation and Mercedes-Benz of Pembroke Pines, Florida for providing us with an exclusive chance to take an in-depth look at the all-new W222 Generation S65 AMG. For more information on their dealership, including contact info and current inventory, you can check out their website provided in the description box below. And so, without further ado, Let's go ahead and start her up, let her run. Throughout the video, I'll also be providing a comprehensive overview of the new S-Class, utilizing clips from the S550, S63, and 2015 S600 to help facilitate tech demos and comparison shots. For a thorough look at my previous reviews of the S550 and S63, links have been provided in the description box below. Because this video is longer than one of my typical reviews, I'll be putting times in the description, so if there's a key area of the S65 you want to learn about, you can see which time that segment is playing and go straight there. As you would expect, the new generation S-Class comes standard with a remote smart key access system, utilizing the touch sensors on all four door handles and just keeping the key fob in your pocket, you're able to lock and lock the vehicle. To lock, just tap the little depressed portion on the handle. And then after waiting a second, just grab the handle, there's also touch sensors behind, and it automatically unlocks the vehicle. Locking the vehicle also automatically tilts in the mirrors for easier access in parking lots. And if you fail to close the door all the way, there's an electromechanical mechanism that will automatically bring it back to the frame. Another nice thing about the doors is the fact that the new S-Class doesn't have a traditional type hinge that stops the door at a variety of points as you open it. What it does have is kind of like an integrated magnet mechanism, so to speak, that no matter where you have it open, it'll actually hold it in place, and it allows getting in and out of tighter parking spaces a whole lot easier. As far as colors, this S65 is finished in gloss black, paired with the black exclusive diamond quilted Napa leather interior that pretty much covers every touch point. Decorated handsomely with plenty of satin aluminum, Desenio black piano lacquer wood trim and multicolor LED ambient lighting throughout, which we'll cover more in depth later in the video. The first thing you'll notice in the new generation S-Class are the fully digitalized instruments, composed of two high-res 12.3-inch thin film transistor liquid crystal displays. They allow for an incredible amount of technology to be packed in one simple yet elegant system backlit by LEDs. The left-hand side contains your digital analog gauges, night vision camera and driver information system, while the right-hand side houses your infotainment features, navigation, seat adjustments, climate control and much more. The S65 features an electromechanical variable ratio steering system, specifically calibrated by AMG. The overall setup is more compact and lightweight while aiding towards efficiency as it only requires energy while being steered. With the varying ratios, the steering becomes more direct and responsive over the steering angle. It's sharper at higher speeds and more relaxed at lower. 
Two selectable suspension modes, Comfort and Sport, relaxes and stiffens the steering and suspension respectively. The steering gear and servo motor are mounted on a lightweight, rigid aluminum frame in front of the wheel's center line. The steering wheel is a sportier adaptation of the standard S-Class two-spoke design. Both the wheel and airbag cover are trimmed in soft, supple leather along with perforated leather and heavier grips up top for AMG cars. While it lacks the wood veneer of the S550 and S600, it still remains an option, in addition to a performance steering wheel that replaces the perforated leather with Alcantara. Aluminum wraps around the airbag, highlights your multifunction controls, and tapers across the bottom with the signature AMG logo. For 2015, the S65 receives AMG's SpeedShift Plus 7G Tronic gearbox, a new 7-speed transmission that replaces the 5-speed SpeedShift automatic found in the last generation S65. Controlled through the direct shift selector on the steering column, you simply hit the brake, hold down to drive, half a click up is neutral, and all the way up is reverse. Park is activated via the chrome button on the tip of the lever. There are three different driving programs activated by a button in the center console. These include controlled efficiency, sport, and manual. Controlled efficiency gears the car for better overall fuel economy, in addition to activating the auto start stop feature. Sport mode raises the shift points and decreases shifting times by 30%. Shift times in both sport and manual are a mere 100 milliseconds, accompanied by rev matching downshifts. With manual mode allowing you to shift by the aluminum panels and maintain the selected gear at full throttle all the way to red line. Among the many safety features we're going to highlight in this video, the vehicle also comes standard with steering assist and lane departure warning that allows the new S-Class to partially drive itself at certain speeds. There's also an adaptive braking system that helps counter crosswind resistance, balance wheel load and damping, not to mention a hold function that, if turned on, will keep the car planted at a stop even with your foot off the brake. During wet weather, the brakes automatically work to dry the rotors in case of emergency braking. The system is also capable of full autonomous braking at speeds below 35 miles an hour if the car detects a crash is imminent or a pedestrian is detected. Other features include self-parking both parallel and perpendicular, adaptive cruise, and a night vision camera that can discern between humans and animals, and a driver alertness system if it detects drowsiness. Once you put the vehicle in reverse, your backup camera appears with guidance lines that will automatically adjust as you turn the wheel. And something else that's pretty cool about the new S-Class is that it features stereoscopic cameras all the way around the vehicle for true 360 degree views. So right now we're on our backup camera screen. If we go up to the top, you can view the back, the side profiles, a front view camera, and even close-ups to make parking in tighter spaces a whole lot easier, especially for such a big car. Change it to 180 or 360 degree views, adjust the brightness all the way to the far right, and like I mentioned earlier, the backup lines that adjust corresponding to the steering angle. And so, we're going to flip on the automatic LED headlamps and the hazards. Naturally, all four windows are fully automatic with laminated glass all the way around. So, let's go and check out the exterior. The Mercedes S-Class has always been referenced as the luxury standard of the world. It combines unsurpassed engineering with a level of refinement and technology that positions it at the top of the luxury sedan totem pole. Each new S-Class that debuts is expected to raise the bar, to take the moniker to the next level with pioneering advancements in automotive technology. 2014 marked the introduction of the all-new 6th generation S-Class known internally as the W222. The 5th generation W221 debuted back in 2007 and was the highest selling vehicle in its segment with over half a million units sold. The all-new S-Class sets itself apart from the rest with many automotive firsts. Is the first production semi-autonomous vehicle that has the ability to drive itself for brief periods of time. It's also the first all-LED automobile, and it's the first to be able to detect the road to automatically adjust the shocks for rougher roads ahead. In designing the new S-Class, there were three engineering paramounts, intelligent drive, efficient technology, and the essence of luxury. To live up to the brand's the best or nothing slogan, the new S-Class had to be a cut above the rest in just about every aspect. All in all, the new S65 weighs around 220 pounds less than the outgoing model thanks to a greater use of aluminum construction. Torsional rigidity has also been improved by 50%. For the first time, all body panels, including the roof, are aluminum. 
Aluminum also makes up many of the suspension components and structure, helping aid in decrease unsprung weight that's further facilitated by forged wheel offerings. Lightweight, high-strength tensile steel makes up the majority of the passenger compartment for an extra level of protection and rigidity. Even the seats are lighter. The dimensions haven't changed much, an increase in height of 0.8 inches and width by 1.1 inches. The weight distribution has also been improved to 52% in the front and 48% in the rear. AMG cars utilize a lithium-ion battery pack which saves around 44 pounds over a traditional battery. If that's not enough, the spare tire well is even made of carbon fiber. The chassis has been tuned with greater negative wheel camber, a larger rear anti-roll bar and stiffer lower subframe. While all-wheel drive is standard for the US market for both the S550 and S63, the S65 is only available in rear-wheel drive. The styling of the S65 is a subtle evolution of Mercedes' latest design language, incorporating V12 and AMG-specific cues. The smooth, curving lines flow from the front to the rear and taper down into the bumper with an upswept deck lid. The styling looks more elegant and aggressive than the previous generation while keeping the classic stately appearance. AMG cars take aggression a bit further with a more aggressive fascia and side sill set. Larger air intakes up front with bright polished mesh and a beautiful chrome lower splitter reduces lift by applying more downforce over the front axle. Air channeling to various components is facilitated by chrome winglets to either side, while a gap above the splitter sends air to a separate oil cooler. Flared side sills stand out with signature mirror quality chrome, also echoed in the rear fascia and diffuser. Out back, AMG cars are finished with a signature sports exhaust system and quad polished pipes. The latest S Class follows the coupe inspired styling theme with seductive curves out back, rounded rear glass that extends into the C pillars, tail lamps that recess into the body, and continuous lines that wrap around the rear clip, cradling the deck lid. A bold new grille highlights the front with V12 cars receiving a unique twin bar design. One of the new highlights is a revolutionary suspension technology known as Magic Body Control. With the S65, this is paired with a specifically designed AMG sports suspension to yield a heightened level of dynamism without compromising on the legendary ride quality. Standard S-Class models feature the Airmatic Adaptive Air Suspension, but with Magic Body Control, the air ride is replaced by the Hydraulic Active Body Control Oil Over Coil Suspension. The S63 in the US market comes only with the Mercedes 4MATIC all-wheel drive system and features the Airmatic system. Magic Body Control is available for the S550 in the US, while it's standard on the S65. What really sets it apart is Road Surface Scan, which utilizes twin stereoscopic cameras mounted above the rearview mirror that can detect bumps up to 45 feet in front of the car. This data almost instantly preloads the shocks for the upcoming bump. Road Surface Scan works up to 80 miles an hour only when the suspension is in comfort mode and the sensors aren't obstructed such as in a snowstorm, fog, or inclement weather. The hydraulic system allows individual automatic adjustments of spring rates at each wheel to keep the ride balanced and compensating for lifting, rolling, and pitching, varying between two driver-selectable modes, comfort and sport. Sport mode takes advantage of AMG's specific suspension architecture to create a more dynamic and direct driving experience. If that's not enough, Dynamic Cornering Assist provides torque vectoring which applies the brake to the inside rear wheel in hard corners, reducing understeer and increasing turn-in by distributing more power to the outer wheel. Another new technology known as Magic Vision Control allows the rain-sensing windshield wipers to have integrated solution dispensers, rather than the cow-mounted washer jets. It dispenses the right amount of fluid without temporarily obstructing vision. It also has programs for summer and winter modes with heated fluid. The new LED headlamps consist of 56 LEDs each. Each tail lamp consists of 35 LEDs plus 4 for the rear fog lamps. All in all, the new S-Class houses over 500 LEDs without a single traditional light bulb, making it the first all-LED production vehicle. For an entire list of all of the safety tech of the new S-Class, please see some of the previous reviews I've done of the S550 and the S63. The links to those videos can be found in the description box below. The S65 features a variety of lightweight AMG forged aluminum alloy wheels. This one in particular features an aggressive looking set of 10-spoke wheels with optional matte black finish and subtle polished outer rim. A forged metal cap covers the lugs and gives the appearance of race-derived central lockers. 
The asymmetric design measures 20 by 8.5 inches in front and 20 by 9.5 inches in the rear, wrapped in continental high-performance tires measuring 255-40 in front and 285-35 in the rear. Brakes consist of two-piece, cross-drilled and slotted, internally ventilated discs measuring 15.4 inches in front with six-piston fixed calipers and 14.1 inches in the rear combined with a single-piston floating caliper and electronic parking brake. Carbon ceramic brakes with unique yellow calipers and meteor 16.5-inch front rotors are also available, offering superior heat and fade resistance. Stopping distances from 60 miles an hour are estimated to be less than 110 feet, impressive for such a large car. As far as the suspension, it's a fully independent four-wheel multi-link setup with two-mode driver adjustable dampers, adjustable ride height, and magic body control. Overall length is 206.5 inches, riding on a 124.6 inch wheelbase. Width, including the mirrors, is 83.9 inches and height is 58.7 inches. Total curb weight, as you see here, is around 4,969 pounds. So let's go ahead and pop the hood. For 2015, the 6 liter M275 twin turbo V12 carries on, now fitted to an updated transmission which exclusively sends power to the rear wheels. The hand built engine sits beneath a carbon fiber and aluminum engine cover decorated with AMG logos and the Mercedes Star. With AMG's one man one engine philosophy, a special badge is affixed to each engine that bears the technician's signature. It's all aluminum with a single overhead cam, 36 valve design, port fuel injection, and a compression ratio of 9 to 1. Some highlights include an aluminum crankcase, forged crankshaft, multi-spark ignition system, air to water intercooler, and a standard eco start stop feature to save a bit of fuel when coming to a stop. It develops 621 horsepower at 4,800 RPM with 22 PSI of boost, and an earth-moving 738 pound-feet of torque at 2,300 RPM. That's 44 horsepower and 74 pound-feet of torque more than the already impressive S63. Top speed is electronically limited to 155 miles an hour, but can be raised to 186 miles an hour as an option. Manufacturer claimed 0 to 60 time is around 4.2 seconds. As far as fuel economy ratings on premium gas and a 21.1 gallon tank, EPA estimates range between 13 miles to a gallon in the city and 20 on the highway. The all-new interior of the S-Class fully embodies the essence of luxury with unprecedented levels of comfort, refinement, entertainment, and sport with AMG models, not only for front passengers but the rear seat as well. The redesigned seats are a multi-contour design with a new hot stone massage feature. The panels across the doors and center console are also heated, keeping everything nice and warm on those cold days. Everything evokes a hand-tailored feeling, from the soft S65 exclusive diamond-quilted perforated Napa leather to the wood and carbon fiber trim options. It's designed to make you feel more relaxed than you were before your journey started. To say build quality is excellent would be redundant. After all, it's what you would expect out of an S-Class. S65s receive Napa leather lined door panels and dashboard that echoes the diamond quilting in addition to a leather clad headliner. Most everything in the interior is accented in soft touch material or leather with color accent stitching, piping, and plenty of metal bright work. From the machined Burmester speaker grills with rotating tweeters a part of the optional high end system to the aluminum switch gear, it's all designed to work together in making the hand built interior feel solid, premium, and above all else, modern. All of your power accessories, including folding mirrors and memory settings, are located on the door. The redesigned AMG Sport seats coddle you with an abundance of support and soft contours while featuring AMG tags on the backrests. S600 cars display a V12 tag. On the doors, you'll see all of your basic power seat controls as well, including a power thigh extension, adjustable headrests, and seat belts. With the seat ventilation, rather than pushing air out initially as you would typically see, it is a reverse fan that works to cool the seat faster for a few minutes, whether it be on a hot day or after the seat heaters have been used. Then it pushes the air back out like normal. This allows the seats to get cooler, faster when desired. All of the bolstering adjustments can be controlled from the infotainment system, which I'll show in just a bit. The leather work and attention to detail is nothing short of spectacular. As we continue, the door sills display illuminated AMG entry guards while the floor is covered with plushier carpet mats and aluminum AMG tags with aluminum sport pedals underneath. The steering wheel is power tilt telescoping with auto tilt feature and heating built in. 
The lower portion of the dash, you have your electronic park and brake, lighting controls, and all the various safety features, including turning off your parking sensors, activating your camera, heads-up display, and more. A panoramic glass roof is standard. Like I mentioned earlier, the LED interior lighting and colors give off a breathtaking display at night. I'll show you the complete array in just a minute. If that's not enough luxury for you, the car has a built-in perfume atomizer that can disperse your choice of four various fragrances that are designed to not stick to yourself or the interior materials. And don't forget to stick around for the demo of the executive rear seat package later in the video, which transforms the S-Class into a world-class limousine. So let's go ahead and see if she sounds. Within the vehicle settings, you could choose to light up every aspect of the interior with seven different colors. The colors range from Moonlight Blue, Daylight White, Morning White, Sunset Orange, Glow Red, Dawn Red, and Twilight Purple. The S600 seen here has the upgraded Burmester Premium Surround Sound System utilizing Mercedes front base design. By using the firewall and cross members as resonance chambers, the subwoofers are mounted under the dash rather than the doors. The mid-ranges are then moved up which allow for more indoor storage space. If that's not enough, this S65 features the top tier high-end Burmester 3D surround sound system with 24 speakers and 24 separate amplifier channels, putting out a total of 1,540 watts of musical power. Easily discernible by unique tweeters mounted at the top of the doors, accented by LED lights that rotate 360 degrees for the best sound. It's easily one of the most powerful, crisp sounding audio systems I've heard to date. It's all routed to the newest generation Mercedes Command infotainment system, utilizing a rotary controller in the center console, and a new touchpad interface that offers smartphone-like features such as swiping, pinching, writing, and more. Like we briefly touched on earlier, in the S65, the headliner is entirely wrapped out of leather, but in this S600, it's lined in soft Alcantara. Leather-wrapped grip handles, Alcantara visors with illuminated vanity mirrors and a card holder to the right. Auto dimming VV mirror with three-position garage home link located beneath. In the satin aluminum trimmed upper stack, you have your SOS emergency roadside assistance, LED reading lamps and interior illumination, hands-free Bluetooth microphone, and a padded sunglass container. All the way towards the front is the controls for the fully automatic sunroof, as well as automatic sunshades, including the rear. The new touchpad is designed to make it easier to access vital features by employing the same philosophy of a smartphone or tablet. Recognizing one or two finger commands, swipe gestures, zoom gestures, in addition to writing letters and characters in multiple languages. Integrated within the hand rest of the central control unit, the high gloss surface feels nice and unobtrusive. Three buttons towards the back correspond to the back button, favorites menu, and audio quick menu. Haptic feedback is delivered when you press down to make a selection. It's even smart enough to recognize whether you're trying to input a command or simply rest your hand on it. If desired, you could still use the rotary controller to access command features by clicking forward, backward, left, and right, while pressing down to make a selection. Not to mention the shortcut keys, corresponding to everything from media and telephone to vehicle settings and massage features. 
So now let's take an in-depth look at the command system, which for 2014 features some improved graphics, menus, features, and functionality. The overall way it works doesn't really differ from 2014, so for demonstration purposes I'm going to be using a combination of clips from this 2015 S600 and a 2014 S63 to help compare and contrast and highlight some of the features. This main menu is one of the refreshed features for 2015 and allows customizable apps that you can reposition, you can turn the screen off if you don't want it on at night, and dual yield information displays. Now over the years, the Mercedes command system has undergone quite a few revisions that make it a lot more user friendly and definitely feature packed. The thin film transistor liquid crystal display, like I mentioned, is controlled via the little command controller mounted in the center console. There's also some manual buttons up here that also correspond to the different menus if you didn't actually want to use a dial yourself. But it's pretty simple. You just click up, down, left and right, push down to select an option, and twist back and forth between the different submenus. So, for example, right now we're in our, one of our media screens. If we click the wheel up, it'll bring up the system menu. So, up top we can select the different options. If you click the wheel down, it'll highlight in the middle if you just wanted to control your media. And then going all the way down, we'll select the lower set. So it's basically a three-tier menu. One, two, three. Down below, it shows all of your climate control data, your compass up top, clock, as well as album artwork. So if we go up to nav, brings up the beautiful high-res display that also features real-time traffic updates. Right now we're in the full screen mode. If we click the wheel down, it'll bring up your navigation options as well as the other options like I showed you earlier. If you highlight the middle, you can bring it back to full screen. Going to the bottom, you have your destination input. All pretty simple. There's also a back button in the center console, which I'll show in just a second. Current position, your traffic options, and then your route options, as well as adjusting the orientation and what displays on the map. If we go all the way to the top and hit nav again, it'll bring up the different navigation options. But that's pretty much it for navigation in a nutshell. And if we go back up to radio, like I said, the vehicle comes standard with satellite radio as well as HD radio, and in this screen, you can scroll through the different area stations. Clicking down brings up your radio options where you can manually enter frequencies and your HD radio stations. Go between HD, radio, satellite radio, internet radio if you wanted to stream something like Pandora. Song information, as well as radio station data and your sound adjustments that will display in all of the different media screens. So your surround settings, balance fade, and equalizer. And for the Burmeister system it's pretty neat. There's almost like digitalized aluminum knobs built into the system. Clicking left, right, back and forth to go between the different settings and twisting the dial to adjust to your liking. Once in the media screen, if you select the option again, you can go between the different options. So you have iPod, auxiliary integration, there's an integrated hard drive, so I think you can store maybe around 10 gigabytes of MP3 files, SD card input, USB input, Bluetooth streaming of audio, a whole lot of different functionality, in-dash CD player and more. And down below, like I said, you can go between the devices, search songs, options, as well as your sound data. Your hands-free Bluetooth telephone will automatically ask you to pair it, and you can store contacts and voice dial through the voice recognition system. Now this is where you can pretty much customize every single aspect of the vehicle to your particular taste. So for vehicle settings, these are all the different personalizable options. And what's so neat is how interactive the menu is. Even on the mirror folding screen, the mirrors automatically tilt in, letting you know exactly what you're looking at. Like I said, it goes pretty in-depth. The ambient interior illumination shows up just about everywhere. Like you can see, it's going around the speedometer cluster. There's some here, there's some in the doors, just about everywhere, including the rear parcel shelf. 
and there's a few colors to choose from. Panel heating is another pretty neat feature. Just about every surface in the S-Class can be heated. So, the center console here and back there, as well as all of the door handles and the steering wheel, not to mention the seats, can all be heated. So whenever you get in the vehicle on a nice cold day, just about everything you're gonna naturally touch is gonna be nice and warm. Your seat settings is where the multi-contour seats really come to life, where you can adjust everything from lumbar to bolstering, balance the seat heating, the hot stone massage feature, to basically encompass just about any body type. It's pretty amazing how detailed it really goes. Activation of your 360 degree camera, your owner's manual is built in, and your clock set. Now while in the telephone screen as well, if you hit the button up top there, it'll bring up the little world icon where you can adjust the phone settings, address book, access the internet, your real-time weather updates through Sirius Satellite Radio, current, extended forecasts, as well as a map, And in a nutshell, those are all the basic features of the command system in the new S63. That's just scratching the surface, essentially. The menus just go on and on forever, and it's so in-depth, and it's an amazing piece of technology. You really just got to check it out and play with it for yourself to see how customizable it actually really is. To the left, in between the two screens, you have the controls for your rear sunshade, and the upper button that'll lower the rear headrest for better visibility. The S-Class is also one of the newest Mercedes vehicles to adopt the circular air vents rather than the rectangular style found in the previous gen. They're beautiful, aluminum accent, very smooth, and you can open and close the vents via those little, almost like organ stop buttons. Elegant analog clock located front and center. Now the S-Class also comes standard with a dual zone, electronic automatic climate control that's fully independent. All accented and knurled aluminum toggle switches. You hit the menu button down below there, it'll bring up the menu here that you can use to control with the command switch. So, controlling the airflow and distribution through the vehicle, temperature, there's also an ionization feature, help purify the air a little bit more. For example, if you hit temperature, click the wheel left and right to go between the driver and passenger. Definitely neat. And you'd also control your perfume atomizer from here as well. Leather lines the entire center console with the accent stitching trailing into the rear. Up front here is your lighter and ashtray and or power outlet. And in the wood grain housing, you have a CD changer, your SD card input, as well as two cup holders. Also, LED lid. Although, like I said, are the manual controls for the command system if you didn't actually want to use the wheel. This one right here will bring up your seat settings. And then the one on the far right brings up all the vehicle settings. Your radio on button, volume, eco mode in conjunction with the vehicle's auto start stop feature gears the car for a little bit more economy. And with the auto start stop, every time you stop the vehicle, the engine will momentarily shut off until you take your foot off the brake where it immediately reignites and helps improve fuel economy a bit. Down below that, your comfort sport manual modes for the transmission. Comfort is geared for the most obviously comfort and economy. Sport mode increases shift times by about 30%, and then manual mode allows for more full manual shiftability via the paddles like I touched on earlier. Your adaptive dampers for sport and comfort settings, as well as raising the vehicle via the adjustable air ride suspension. Underneath this little leather cover here is your dialing pad for your telephone, and it also controls your preset radio stations. Your leather line center console with the AMG insignia embossed on top. With a good sized glove box lined in felt. With a little spot for one of the integrated remote controllers that come with the vehicle, AV inputs, your auxiliary iPod integration, as well as USB input. As far as the steering wheel, off to the right hand side are your radio controls, hands free telephone, and voice commands. Help. For which functions do you want help? Change disc, select track, search for music, all media player functions, or voice controllable devices. Cancel. Cancel. 
so it's a nice pleasant voice and I'll help walk you through the system so you can get more familiar with it. And to the left hand side is your driver info controls for your information system located in between the speedometer cluster. If you hit the home button, which is right here, it brings you up to the screen here where you can basically control the same commands like you would find in the, well, command system. Service reminders. Your personalizable options. As well as your AMG mode, which brings up a little digitalized speedometer, what gear you're in, and a couple other auxiliary gauges. The driving profile for the transmission, traction control, as well as the adaptive dampers. All nice and easy to see in an AMG specific digitalized speedometer cluster. And of course, your automatic rain sensing windshield wipers, high beams and turn signals, and your adaptive cruise control located down below there. Wonderfully built cabin. So we're gonna shut her down. And we'll check out the back seat. Back seat passengers are treated with an abundance of luxury and features. With this S65 and the available Executive Rear Seat Package Plus, you have many of the same features and adjustments as the front, with the addition of an executive reclining right portion for stretching out and letting someone else take the wheel for you. This package is also available for other S-Class models. While the driving position should be an exhilarating one, it's hard to argue against the sumptuous environment out back as the ideal place to be. Like the front, everything is wrapped in supple Napa leather with diamond quilting on the doors and seat surfaces. There's extra switches on the door that correspond to your rear sunshade, shade for the panoramic roof and the opposite window. Everything is trimmed in aluminum, from the switch gear to the Burmester speaker grills, accented throughout by the Designio Piano Black trim, including the backs of the front seats, which wear signature AMG medallions. B-pillar air vents provide extra ventilation, and there's extra storage on the seat backs and lower door panels. The rear seats are of multi-contour design as well, featuring adjustable lumbar support, side bolsters, and shoulder support, not to mention active side bolsters that add more dynamic support through the corners. Even the six massage programs make their way out back, including two modes with a hot stone treatment. Of course, the seats are heated and ventilated with three-person memory to go along with the standard power adjustments for the left-hand side seat. Providing extra support and comfort are adjustable wraparound headrests with detachable Alcantara pillows. LED lights provide a contrast in the leather rear shelf, while the rear seats also receive AMG tags on the backrests. An important note, the full-length center console is not standard, that's a part of the executive rear seat package. Otherwise, in the standard S-Class, you have a fold-down center console, otherwise you can sit three people back there. When you order the executive package, you also have a little bit less cargo space out back. A quad-zone climate control is optional. So let's talk about rear seat room with the standard non-center console S-Class. Climbing into the back seat of the S-Class is like climbing into a large, luxurious, leather-lined limousine. Comfort is absolutely fantastic. The door is shut with such a tight thud that you would expect out of a car in this class. And the interior room and space is just absolutely incredible. Over in Europe, they actually have a shorter wheelbase version, but the one that we get for America, like I mentioned earlier, is only the long wheelbase counterpart. But I'm about 5'11", and this particular car actually has the option of reclining rear seats. So, if you use the door-mounted controls, it automatically slides out. You can raise the back up. And down as well as control the height of the headrest. So, you can just kick back and relax. Easy access to a large center console here with two cup holders, a bit of storage down below, as well as a pocket out back. There's also some vanity mirrors up top, accented with LEDs. So really, I'm 5'11", and even with the seat extended out a bit, I feel like I can still kick my feet up and relax. There's so much room back here, so especially people over six feet, the back seat is absolutely perfect for taller individuals. And for a little first-person comparison, like I said, I'm 5'11", plenty of interior room, your ambient illumination down there, across the doors, and if you look closely in the dash, you'll see it wrapping around the bottom portion of the wood. Air vents in the B-pillars, coat hook, 
leather line grip handles back here, LED reading lamps, as well as a Bluetooth microphone. Of course, side curtain airbags in the rear, and a leather line parcel shelf. Wood and leather center console with two cup holders. Storage down below. In your storage pocket all the way in the rear. In your air registers with a little bit of storage and a 150 watt AC outlet. Of course, the highlight of the Executive Seating Package Plus is the full-length center console, tray tables, and the fully reclining rear seat. In addition to the power adjustments on the left side, the right side reclines to 43 degrees and includes both a power calf rest and foot rest. To make sure there's enough room, through the door mounted controls you're able to slide the passenger seat forward when unoccupied an additional 3 inches, as well as tilting the seat back forward. By pressing the top left button you're able to use the door mounted seat controls to control the passenger seat, and when you move it all the way forward, the bottom left button will actually tilt it forward a little bit more and start reclining your seat so you can stretch out and relax. So now let me walk you through the sequence. Like I said, pressing the top left hand button, using the seat controls, you're able to go ahead and tilt and slide the seat forward. Once you do that, press the bottom left button, and it automatically collapses the headrest, moves the screen, and starts tilting the seat forward even further up into the dash. This adds to a significant amount of increased legroom, especially for taller individuals. Now for a quick first person perspective, the screen tilts down so you can easily see it with the increased angle of the backrest, the headrest tilts down so it clears the visor up front, and then it all tilts forward up into the dash. Later on, a power footrest will automatically extend out from the bottom providing you extra leg support. Once the front seat is forward enough for you, you can press that same bottom left hand button again and it will automatically start reclining the rear seat. It'll extend the lower cushion, lay back the back portion, and start bringing out your thigh support. There's even an extra pillow on the thigh support like you would find on the headrest for supreme comfort. Once complete, I'm able to fully stretch out. Just like the backrest and lower cushion, the thigh support can be adjusted independently via the door matted controls, either bringing it in, extending it out depending on how long your legs are, and bringing it up or down. So now let's talk a little bit more about backseat amenities. With the full length center console, it's entirely wrapped out in Napa leather and has LED accenting. Like the front, it also has the AMG crest embossed on top. The seat belts light up and automatically extend down when you open up the doors. There's a little bit of storage back there and plenty of black piano veneer. One of the highlights of this vehicle are the foldable aluminum trays that stow neatly in the center console. They extend out, flip around, and have a little bit of grippier texture so you can put a laptop or drink or something like that and it won't slide anywhere. It basically provides neat writing desks for both of the passengers to get a little bit of work done on a longer trip. Within the console you have a bit of felt lined storage with some media inputs, AV inputs, and an extra power outlet. The console also houses the controls for the quad zone climate control with a similar air vent style like you would find in the front. Within the console you have an extra power outlet, lighter, and heated and cooled cup holders in two variable sizes. As far as the rear seat entertainment system, Composed of two LCD monitors on either side that basically have the same multimedia infotainment system as you would find in the front. If you look in this fold down center console in this particular model, inside there's two remotes. Basically matching the same one up front like I mentioned earlier. The function is pretty simple. You have a little dialing pad right here where you can store presets or actually dial a telephone. Up top here, is where you control which screen that you're going to do. So if you hit the command, it's going to control the front basically. So if you do left rear, you can control the radio too, volume, all that kind of stuff. Just basically, I showed you a little while ago how you can actually select 
the sound to be in one of these areas. When it's like that, then you can have full functionality of whatever you want to listen to, essentially. In the vehicle settings. Like I said, basically the same thing that you saw up front. Wonderfully comfortable. So let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Trunk space in the S-Class is a respectable 18 cubic feet, plenty for hauling a couple sets of golf clubs or taking an extended vacation. As you saw, the trunk lid is fully powered as standard with polished entry guards and storage nets on either side. The passenger seat features all of the same power adjustments that you find on the driver's seat, including the multi-contour settings, heating and ventilated, and three-person memory. Lock open glove box, also padded, lined in felt, with a good amount of space, as well as the perfume atomizer. There's also a little air dispenser right there. When the air conditioning is active, you can open that up. It'll filter in cold air to keep things chilled. The Mercedes S-Class is a legend in pioneering technology. It's the benchmark to what other luxury sedans are measured to, and it's always something to behold with each new iteration. Combining prestigious power, refinement, and comfort, not to mention economy, the S-Class has once again reaffirmed its top spot in the ultra-luxury sedan market. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the 2015 Mercedes-Benz S65 AMG. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.